Hi, my name is Derek Abello. I'm here to show you some, uh, talk about some bees here and show you a little bit of the, the hive that I have. Uh, I've taken some comb, <laughs> yeah, your dog. I've taken some, some comb uh, removed from a house and uh, I get a lot of questions uh, regarding bee removals and I kind of want to just show you this video uh, to kind of give you an idea uh, a little bit about what beekeeping is about and bee removals are about more specifically. Um, I do have some bees here that I, uh, these are from some of my hives on my apiary out here. They're actually gathering uh, some comb and honey. But I want to show you something uh, as far as what a bee box is and just discuss with you uh, how a bee removal works and also why you would choose a bee removal guy like me or beekeeper versus someone who exterminates. Uh, I do charge um, a fee for bee removals and there are a lot of uh, beekeepers who do the same thing. Um, it is uh, something that requires a lot of skill and a lot of time and is also going to be pretty messy, especially in the summertime. So, uh, anyways, here's the bee box I have to show you. So, basically this is a bee box and this is the where the bees will be placed that are removed. And I'm going to remove the cover here and you can see some bees kind of in there getting some, some of the honey and, and some of the wax there. Uh, this bee box has been kind of sitting here for a while. so. Uh, it was something that, it was a hive that I had removed that I just never used. Um, and the reason for that was, uh, well, there's many reasons. Uh, one could be the, the, the hive um, that was removed was actually sprayed with some sort of pesticide which, or, or some sort of killer, which then obviously the bees are, are useless. Um, they die off um, or their honey is just bad. Um, I wouldn't feed that to my kids. So that's why I have uh, this type of... Um, uh, bee comb that's left behind sometimes, oh, a lot of the time, and I just end up usually get it, disposing of it, burning it, getting rid of it, um, but not letting it stick around because I don't want the bees eating that. In this particular case, we have bees here who are just going and, and getting some honey and some comb, but that's what the bee box looks like. Again, it's it's a when I remove the honey and comb, I stick it in these little slots that hang down, and they go into the box there, which I'll show you in another video. But um, again, this is just a quick uh, show you some bees and some honey and what it, what it looks like and some comb. Um, if you have this in your house, you want to get it removed and don't get it exterminated because again, um, if you're concerned about bees continuing to uh, you know, pollinate uh, the different farmlands and, and the different trees and things like that, flowers, and uh, continue to help in our ecosystem, it's a good idea to, uh, to get them removed, not exterminated. And again, that extermination process just... Uh, Again, just renders everything useless as far as that hive is concerned. So, hope this helps out a little bit. You can check me out uh, more of this, more videos on my YouTube channel, um, or you can follow me at Facebook, uh, facebook.com, backslash Derek Abello7, or uh, you can go to my website, drockbees.com, or abellabees.com. So, hope this helps, and uh, look forward to showing you some more videos and uh, educating you a little more about the, uh, the amazing bee.